Now, we've been stuck in the 80s for quite some time. I've done so many reactions, we've consumed so much music in the 80s, and a lot of times I get asked by my subscribers and patrons, they always say, yo T, what are your favorite songs from the 80s? Or what are your favorite bands? Or what are you listening to? Some of them even ask me, do you even listen to this stuff? Or are these reactions fake? And I'm like, no, our reactions are 100% real. Tasha and I, we do listen to this music on our days off or when we're driving in the car. Um, it's just, it's just been quite a journey. And so, so it, it might be funny or interesting to y'all because these were songs that y'all fell in love with many, many years ago. And we are just now discovering them. And it's like, I don't know. It's, it's like brand new to us. So in this video, I want to list some of my favorite bands and my favorite songs from those bands. So let's go ahead and kick this off. Right now, we're going to jump into things with the Plasmatics. Yo, so I remember when I first seen this video and I heard this song, I wasn't too sure what to expect. But when I seen Wendy O. Williams, I was like, God damn. <laughs> And so what's interesting is, is that this band, they have a very unique sound for the time that they came out. And what's really cool is that they're a female fronted band and they sound fucking awesome. So I was watching some older interviews of Wendy O. Williams and I could tell from her attitude and her mannerisms, she was completely committed to this lifestyle. <laughs> I see, you know what, you gotta love that voice. All right, next up on our list comes as no surprise. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, as soon as I jumped into this band, I instantly fell in love. I went ahead and started reacting to, listening to a whole bunch of their music, and I probably have more reactions to this band's music than any other reactor out there. And of course, that band is Megadeth. Now, I've come a long way as far as my knowledge about this band. I, I've learned so much about them. I learned so much about Dave. And it's really cool because I have a really strong understanding of this band's history and I really appreciate their quality in music. So one of the songs I like jamming to in my free time is Good Morning Black Friday. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. See, and this is that 80s Megadeth. See, not a lot of fans, they know about this because they, they won't even go past Bust in Peace. They're missing out. There we go. Definitely an amazing song and an amazing album. I advise you guys to check it out if you haven't already. And uh, go ahead and jump down that Megadeth rabbit hole. You know you want to. Now this guy, he's universally famous among metalheads and rockers. Everyone knows who he is except me. I discovered this guy late. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things where it's like better late than never because I'm so glad and happy that I discovered his music because he is a genius. I love his sound. I love the way he sings. And arguably, he's considered one of the best vocalists in metal. And that's none other than Ronnie James motherfucking Dio. Let's go ahead and check him out. See, that's one thing you've got to love about Ronnie. He just had this energy about himself. He just brought a whole different feel to metal. I think this is one of the songs we hosted in the battle where we did a, a Ozzy versus Dio battle and Dio kicked Ozzy's ass. Guys, if you haven't seen that battle, go ahead and check it out. It should be somewhere on the channel. Anyway, I love this guy's vocal style. I love his, I love everything that he brings to this genre. It's just so cool, so unique. And it's really cool because you can talk to any metalhead around the globe and ask them, who, who their favorite singer is or who is the best metal vocalist of all time and they're either gonna say Ronnie James Dio or Jeff Tate <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and move on to our next artist and that is none other than Van Halen now this band is the epitome of 80s rock music basically when you listen to Van Halen's music you know it's gonna be energetic it's gonna be fun and you're gonna have a good time and that's something that I've experienced from listening to their music Every time I see their videos or I listen to a song from them, I know it's going to be good. And it's just, I don't know. Every time I listen to a Van Halen song, I always know I'm going to have a good time. There's no experience like it. So let's go ahead and check them out. This is Van Halen with Panama. And what's really cool is you can tell these guys they're having a good time. They're having a complete blast while performing. And of course, they have dope ass solos, always bringing the energy in their music. And then this magnificent breakdown. You gotta love this shit. Let's go. You gotta love this band. 
And finally, the last band on my playlist is Annihilator. Now, one of my patrons put me onto this band, and as soon as I heard that song, Alice in Hell, I, I've been hooked. Now, I've listened to every track on this album, and I love how these guys kick ass. Let's go ahead and check them out. That's the cool thing about 80s metal sometimes. It's like you don't know what you're gonna get. But for the most part, with this journey, a lot of these songs have been awesome. Like, I just love how some of these guys, they just jam so hard. Let's go. As I stated earlier, there's something about the 80s that is just so magical, so carefree, especially in the music. And I really love just jumping down the rabbit hole and familiarizing myself with some of these bands. So guys, that's my playlist that I'm rocking with right now. Let me know yours down below in the comment section. And of course, if you have any suggestions of any bands you would like to put me onto, leave them down below as well. Anyway, I know you enjoyed this video, so go ahead and smash that like button, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.